Hello dear learners, welcome for this online video session of Raman Spectroscopy. Today I am going to discuss about Raman Depolarization Ratio. So let us begin with the lecture. Now Raman Depolarization Ratio. So why there is a need to study Raman Depolarization Ratio? So as we know Raman gives the information about intensity and frequency of the molecule or you can say the bonds but again there is a another parameter that is a Raman depolarization ratio it will useful to determine the structure of molecule that now before starting we should know what is polarizability and what is polarization so what is polarizability you can say polarizability describes a molecular property having to do with the deformability of a bond. And what is polarization? So in contrast, polarization is a property of a beam of radiation and it describes the plane in which the radiation vibrates. So this is the difference between polarizability and polarization. We will see what is Raman depolarization ratio. So when Raman spectra are excited by plain polarized radiation, what happens when a laser source is used? The scattered radiation is found to be polarized to various degree depending on the type of vibration responsible for scattering so what happened here the scattered radiation is found to be polarized to various degree and it is depend on type of vibration responsible for scattering as we know from the principle the scattering occurs because of vibration of the molecule so it will be clear by this example now this is the depolarization resulting from the Raman scattering. Here you can see that this is a, our sample. This is our sample. Here it's a polarized radiation from the laser. From here we are providing the radiation from the sample. So what happened over here? You can see here X, Y and Z. So ultimately what happened over here? You can see that whatever radiation we are applying that is being polarized in this region here yz you can say it will be polarized in this region yz part of resulting scattered radiation here you can see is shown as being polarized parallel to the original beam you can say and that is the XZ plane over here, XZ plane, part of radiation will be polarized again parallel to the original region or you can say original beam and that is XZ and it's known as parallel region. So it is described by this I parallel. Now remaining what happened Re and remaining part will be polarized again and it will be perpendicular to the original beam. That's why you can see over here this is perpendicular to the original beam and this is denoted by this one. This is a I. You can say this is a perpendicular. So what is depolarization ratio? Depolarization ratio is equal to I perpendicular divided by I parallel. So this is the equation how we can identify the depolarization ratio I perpendicular divided by I parallel. So experimentally what happened the depolarization ratio may be obtained by inserting a, a polarizer between the sample and monochromator. So the depolarization ratio is depend upon the symmetry of vibrations responsible for scattering. 
it will be clear by one example we will see the spectra of carbon tetrachloride so what happened over here see this is the spectra of carbon tetrachloride so as we know here we are getting the three peak one is at 459 then 314 and 218 centimeter inverse now what happened over here you can say the depolarization ratio is depends on the symmetry of vibrations responsible for scattering means what for example in this we are getting this three peak so we can say this peak is arise from this one first line at 459 centimeter inverse it will be arises from the symmetric vibration there will be a totally symmetric vibration and the depolarization ratio see here we are getting a minimum depolarization and it will be about 0 0.005 so here what happened there will be a minimum depolarization means you can say this line is not depolarized but it's polarized but what happened over here in this range for 314 and 218 there will be anti-symmetric or you can say asymmetric vibration that's why whatever depolarization ratio we are getting it is more than this it's a negligible but here it's a 0.75 so you can say that here there is a high depolarization ratio and from the scattering theory it is possible to demonstrate that maximum depolarization ratio for anti-symmetric or you can say asymmetric vibration is 6th by 7th and for symmetric vibration this ratio is always less than that particular number so what happened from this what we can understood it will give us information about the structure of our molecule means we can say that where we are getting asymmetric peak where we are getting symmetric peak from this depolarization ratio from the number now we will see this is the parallel and perpendicular spectra of ccl4 so it's a very clear spectra here you can see that i parallel and i perpendicular so what happened as i said in i parallel we are getting three lines 459 314 and 4218 cm inverse but for i perpendicular we are getting only two lines that is for 314 and 218 means what here this line is polarized that's why it give the symmetric vibration but here this two are giving the anti-symmetric or you can say asymmetric vibration so what happened ultimately from the depolarization ratio we are getting the information about the raman lines with the mode of vibration now in the next lecture we will see the instrumentation of raman spectroscopy must watch the next lecture for instrumentation part thank you dear learner if you have any doubt, you can email me on this email ID and you can contact me on this number. Wish you very happy learning. Thank you.